हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेक्चर सेवेंटी फोर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस थ्री मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज वेयर एंड वाई मोस्ट ऑफ द आयन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज लोकेटिंग गिव एनी थ्री रीजन्स फॉर देयर लोकेशन so uh, most of the steel is undertaken by in the public sector most of the steel in public sector is undertaken by sel that is steel authority of india limited means most of the purchasing exporting importing about steel whatever dealing in the market is done is done through sel steel authority of india limited it is one of the largest steel manufacturing industry in india so uh, in present days most of the iron and steel industries locating in chota nagpur plateau region chota nagpur plateau region it is uh, because of uh, the relative advantages that this uh, has for development of this industry the various factors which are responsible for their location in chota nagpur plateau are the low cost of iron ore because uh, chota nagpur plateau is very rich in concentration of iron ores high grade coal that is uh, uh, anthracite there is high grade coal which is required for smelting raw material in the proximity cheap labor and vast growth potential in the home markets in the home markets over there although india is an important iron and steel producing country in the world but we are not performing to our full potential because of high cost and limited coking coal is required for manufacturing steel lower productivity of labor irregular supply of energy and poor infrastructure last point to this question is liberalization liberalization means uh, a removal uh, of barrier from export import on any kind of trade and foreign direct investment that is fdi have given a boost improvement to the industry with the efforts of private entrepreneurs that private people private companies are also entering that is tisco another largest important company is tata iron and steel corporation so there is a need to allocate resources for research and development to produce steel more competitively so uh, these are the Uh, points can be considered for this question and about steel there will be a question uh, definitely there will be a question and about the steel industries next question is aluminium smelting that is uh, making aluminium smelting is uh, melting of the bauxite the raw uh, ore of aluminium is one of the most important metal industry in india aluminium smelting is one of the most important metal industry in india justify by giving suitable examples we have to justify it by giving suitable examples so the first point for the this question is aluminium smelting is the second most important metal industry in india aluminium is light in weight resistant to corrosion it does not get rusted easily good conductor of heat it is malleable and becomes strong when its alloy is made it becomes very strong while alloying it with other metals second point can be mentioned about this that aluminium is used to make aircraft bodies utensils and wires for electrical industry 
एल्यूमिनियम हैज गेंड पॉपुलरिटी एज ए सब्सटीट्यूट ऑफ स्टील कॉपर जिंक एंड लेड इन अ नंबर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एल्यूमिनियम इंडस्ट्रीज इन द कंट्री आर लोकेटेड इन ओडिशा वेस्ट बंगाल केरला यूपी छत्तीसगढ़ महाराष्ट्र एंड तमिलनाडु सो मोस्ट ऑफ दीज एरियाज आर दी कनेक्टिंग एरियाज ऑफ छोटा नागपुर प्लेट्यू बिकॉज जोग्राफिकली इफ वी टेक द लोकेशन ऑफ छोटा नागपुर प्लेट्यू सो ऑल दीज स्टेट्स आर कनेक्टेड विद then last point is that bauxite is the ore or the raw material which is required in smelters is very heavy it is bulky industry bauxite is dark reddish in color it is a, it is found in the form of a dark reddish color rock regular supply of electricity and assured source of raw material at minimum cost at low cost are the two prime factors for location of industry this point is also important for one mark question one mark question now uh, we cannot make sure that in what way one mark question can be asked so better you understand the concept so concept is that <clears throat> regular supply of electricity and assured source of raw material at low cost are the two prime factors for location of aluminium smelting industries so these are the points which can be considered for aluminium smelting and the basically question is that most of justification so we have to give all uh, advantages of aluminium and their location and the region for their location and third question <clears throat> of this video as well as of this chapter is it is also very important industries in the present days produce different types of pollution suggest some of the methods to control industrial pollution about pollution you have studied in junior classes also so industries produce or create four types of pollution that is air pollution water pollution thermal pollution and noise pollution these are the some major uh, types of uh, pollutions uh, spread by different industries so we uh, here we are focusing about the suggestions for controlling the industrial pollution first question can be mentioned in this that every liter of waste water generated by an industry pollutes 8 liters of fresh water so it can be minimized by recycling and by retreating the industrial used water before releasing it in the open or adding it with to other water bodies second point that is the rain water harvesting is the ultimate method to control water pollution rain water harvesting meaning storing rain water for use so industries must make rain water harvesting mechanism that will reduce the dependency of water used in the industry from underground table and it will save our underground table next point is that treatment of industrial waste water can be treated by three methods water treatment can be done by three methods primary that is mechanical means secondary by treatment that is biological process and tertiary uh, including all biological chemical and physical methods these are the ways in which the water can be treated next point in this particulate matter in the air pm generally it is in news also you might have read pm what is pm that is particulate matter so particulate matter in the air can be controlled means solid particles generated by industries through smoke through any other means are added to the air so they can be controlled by fitting filters on the chimneys on the chimney mouth filters can be taken smoke stacks that smoke can be 
कंट्रोल बाय पुटिंग सम काइंड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक प्रेसिपिटेटर्स फैब्रिक फिल्टर्स फैब्रिक मीन्स क्लोथ फिल्टर्स वेट एट्सेट्रा सो दैट दिस सॉलिड पार्टिकुलेट मैटर मे नॉट एड टू द एयर स्मोक कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड बाई यूजिंग क्लीन फ्यूल्स इन प्लेस ऑफ कोल एंड डीजल नाउ इट इज सी एन जी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी देर इज नो केस ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ एयर पोल्यूशन सो इंडस्ट्रीज विच रन ऑन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो दीज आर सम सजेशंस एंड लास्ट दैट इज नॉइज पोल्यूशन नॉइज पोल्यूशन कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड बाई यूजिंग साइलेंसर्स वर्कर्स कैन बी सजेस्टेड टू पुट ऑन ईयर प्लग्स एंड ईयर फोन्स एंड इंडस्ट्रीज मस्ट बी सेटअप अवे फ्रॉम द सेटलमेंट एरियाज वेयर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल लिव इंडस्ट्रीज शुड नॉट बी परमिटेड टू सेट इन दोज एरियाज आर सम मेथड्स टू चेक पोल्यूशन क्रिएटेड बाई इंडस्ट्रीज सो थैंक यू वेरी मच कीप ऑन रीडिंग वॉचिंग लिसनिंग एंड इट विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड and prepare better for your coming up examinations thanks again